Jake Palmer at Remax. I'm at 39 Kingshurst in Rossay. Kingshurst is just a short little side street just off the Rossay Road, just near the bottom of Green Road as a point of reference. A beautiful two-story horseshoe driveway, fantastic flat lot, uh, and surprisingly large home. Uh, one of the nicest traits of this home in my mind is that from the road it's quite unassuming, but when you get in there's just tons of room, a great layout, and uh, four bedrooms upstairs. We'll go through the front door and I'll give you a tour from there. Ceramic tile on the front porch. Lots of room here for taking off boots, greeting people. And it's nice because you don't end up landing right in the kitchen with your boots. And when you come in, you come into a nice, very large kitchen. Ceramic tile in here. Favorite cabinet space and counter space. One of the nice things about this kitchen, in my mind, is that you've got a lot of room to work with. So if you had uh, plans for a brand new kitchen with expansive counters, uh, big island, you've got lots of room to work with here. Nice uh, butcher block island with the stove set in, dishwasher over here. Coat closet. And the adjacent to the kitchen is the dining room. Really nice large dining room. Plenty of room for a big table. Very nice built-in in the corner. You'll notice the uh, original hardwood floors. And uh, very nice stately trim work throughout. I'll point out now the windows are all vinyl insert windows, so very good quality replacement windows. The dining room is open to this living room. He's got it set up as an office currently. But as you can see, lots of windows, plenty of natural light. There's a pellet stove in the corner here. You know, whether you want pellet, wood stove, propane, or even electric, you can put in whatever you want here. And as you can see, this is open to the staircase going up. This back part of the house was an addition, um, and it's got basement area underneath, but it also adds the square footage to the upstairs. And this is a really great sitting room area. Just basically a wall of glass, beautiful room, whether it's in the summer or even in the winter, watching winter storms. The sun sets kind of behind these windows, and so you get really nice afternoon and evening light here. Off this room, we've got a powder room. And the laundry is just behind here. You can make out the uh, dryer there. But as you can see, that would have been an original exterior window. So this part of the house was added on. Point of reference, that's the living room that we just came from. There's the kitchen over there, and then the staircase. One of the great things about homes of this era, and this home was built in the early 1900s, is um, it's when they first started getting away from the center staircase. So the staircase is off to the side, and it really makes for these nice, big, usable spaces, as well as the layout that really flows. Many homes prior to this would have had the center staircase that really chops the home up into small rooms. But this side staircase really makes all the difference in terms of uh, maximizing the usable space in the home. Coming upstairs, we have a bit of a landing here. There's four bedrooms up here. You could even get a fifth bedroom if you wanted, but four really generous bedrooms. So the first one over here with the French doors. This one looks out towards the backyard. Lots of windows in this room. And closet right here by the door. Master bedroom here. That's a king size bed, and as you can see, there's tons of space for um, for king size bed, dressers, lots of furniture, and it opens up to kind of a large ensuite area. Greatest thing about this is having the ensuite already plumbed gives you real flexibility for how you want to set this up. So we've already got the flush, 
I already have a vanity in the tub and a lot of space. And so lots of potential here if down the road someone wanted to do a large walk-in closet, a modern ensuite, large closet here. The other opportunity here is to take the space and make it a bedroom and run a hallway down where the closets are currently. But if, that, if there's a need for five bedrooms, it's already four really well-sized bedrooms as it is. Lots of nice built-ins through the house, as you can see. Third bedroom here. You can tell we're into the kids' bedrooms now. Closet over in the corner. Full bath. It's a nice large shower in the corner. Flush. Well-sized vanity. And then the fourth bedroom. This is the smallest of the bedrooms and it's still a very decent size. There is a closet. They've got it blocked off with a little desk here right now. But as you can see, we're getting more of the morning light here and uh, lots of windows in this home. It really gets beautiful light. Heading back downstairs. Show you the back deck. The back deck is huge. And again, this end of the house gets the afternoon and evening light. It's a very large deck. A bit of a pergola over here, some sun blinds, and a nice set of steps going down to the backyard. The backyard goes to about the uh, base of those large trees, but it's a beautiful flat yard. And as you can see, wonderful views of the river and the sun would set dead ahead in the winter and more over by this house over in this area in the uh, middle of the summer. So um, all year long, you're getting really great light back here. Another view of that living room. So that concludes the video tour for 39 Kingshurst. If you have any questions about this property, feel free to give me a call. I can be reached at 506-650-0092. And my email address is jake at jakepalmer.ca. Mm -hmm.